Hello guys, this is my apartment. That's what I want to show you today, or at least parts of it. So yeah, let's get going. Let's just sit down for a second and talk about some stuff. So 2,500 subscribers. Exactly one year ago tomorrow, I published my 1,000 subscriber special. One year later, we already hit 2,500 subs. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, for your kind and helpful comments and for participating in the community we have built together. I enjoy making these videos so much and I'm always happy when I'm able to help some of you with your purchase decisions, for example. So thanks for being here. In this video, I will give you a quick tour of my apartment and show you some of my camera equipment and more stuff. Since my 1000 sub special, I published 36 new videos. That means there are some new outtakes to show you. Like, uh, let's just start with a couple of them. If the value exceeds this amount, you are responsible for paying any additional taxes you might face. That generally applies to countries outside of yo 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 for shipping the damaged item to Hong Kong, which can be quite expensive depending on where you live. Where you live. The first three digits relate to the product. The four middle digit. So let's start with the first room. This is my workspace and wardrobe combined. Here I have my mirror. I wanted to hang it on the wall. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, quite a nice mirror actually for Instagram stories and that stuff. Yeah, and this is my wardrobe. You probably already know most of this, the clothes in particular, because I showed you most of them. This is the studio suits suit I have showed you in a video. This is Oliver Wicks suit supply, Oliver Wicks again, Oliver Wicks again. The Hockerty field jacket, Pochetka and so much other stuff. Yeah, I had one rack of these to start with. I think they are 80 bucks each or something. They are from a store that is actually for like um, supply for clothing shops and that stuff. But I think it's quite nice. But what really bothers me is they aren't exactly the same height as you can see here. And that's really annoying. Like I, this should be down, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, these hangers, shirt hangers and um, Trouser hangers are from Ikea, actually. And the jacket hangers are from AliExpress. But not too bad. I always wanted to have like exactly the same for each item, but these were the first ones I had and they are not available anymore. So I had to buy new ones, but they are similar enough in my opinion. So it's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. So this is kind of my winter and autumn rack and this is the summer and spring rack and also the black tie rack with the tuxedo shirt with the tux from Lanieri, Spear and Mackey dinner jacket, HSS XMHB dinner jacket. Ah oh yeah, and this is of course my Ombrelli for Nara umbrella. Really nice. I kind of weird to hang it on the clothing rack but I don't have any other space to put it so that's just how it is. Yeah, so that's this part of the room and this is my workspace basically with this really nice chair, really like it. Two 34 inch monitors from Xiaomi with 144 Hertz and a Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro X15 down there. So this is where I do all my editing and other work I do and where I also play some video games from time to time and that stuff. So yeah, my workspace basically and of course over here, my microphone from Audio-Technica that I also use for videos from time to time. Really nice for the price, very good audio quality. Then here we have a couple of audio dramas on cassette. That's kind of a German thing, these audio dramas. Quite popular over here, probably not so much in the US and in other countries, but yeah, nice to have a small collection of these. So let's go on. Here we have uh, um, an ashtray for cigars. I haven't smoked a cigar in quite some time yet. As you can see, there's a lot of dust on here. <laughs> and I also have this really, really cheap humidor with a lot of dust on it and a very cheap cigar cutter. I think it's like, that's probably how it's used. 
Yeah, I really haven't smoked cigars in quite some time. Definitely not at home as well. When I was in Bratislava in Slovakia, I was at a cigar shop with a friend of mine and we smoked a little bit. That was really nice, but for smoking at home, I don't know. I, I think I don't have the knowledge to really do that properly. Then over here we have a lot of camera equipment. This is my Sony a7R Mark II. That's the same camera we use for filming at the moment. This is the 85mm 1.4 lens from Sigma. On the camera is the 35mm 1.4. Quite nice lenses, not the best combination for filmmaking, but decent enough and awesome for photography. So yeah, works for me, I guess. And a lot of other stuff. We have ND filters over here. We have microphones back there. We have uh, the teleprompter up here that I use a lot for videos actually. And also some clothing accessories like this bow tie from Sinabre for example. Really, really nice. And another bow tie from Sinabre. Some, some stuff from Shibumi Firenze, some boutonnieres over here. So that's just like stuff stuffed into this thing without any particular order. You know this chair, I hope you do. Um, that's the green velvet-like chair that I use a lot for filming actually because I just love the color of it on film, it looks really nice. And uh, some of the bags from Grams28, I've made a review about it if you want to check it out. It's up there, up there in the corner. This chair, this chair, this table is made of mango wood. I have never known that mango wood is a thing that exists, but it apparently does and it's actually quite a nice table. The tuxedo. You have seen me wearing with the... Okay. The trousers feature one pleat and a... Per, a per. Let's finally talk about the... <coughs> This tuxedo shirt made of a phenomenal white ceremony armature. Ceremony. C ceremony. 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 This macht eigentlich Sinn. Ceremony. White cere ceremony. White ceremony armature. Okay. First up is this tuxedo shirt made of a phenomenal white cerem ceremony. Hat <laughs> heilige Scheiße, was ist das für ein scheiß Wort? You probably know this room quite well already from some of my more recent videos. We have the couch, IKEA as well. Not the nicest one, but it works for me. The vacuum robot, of course, and some more cleaning stuff. I'm quite a fan of these gadgets and that stuff, so that's quite fun. Also the fan over there, smart as well from Xiaomi, so I can activate it with my voice via Google Assistant and that stuff. And of course, the pictures on the wall up there with Christopher Lee on the right, Freddie Mercury in the middle and Cary Grant on the left. You also know these from some of my older videos because, yeah, actually I was always sitting here on, on this, um, wie heißt denn das? Chair. Chair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been sitting on this chair. I filmed from over there with the window as a natural light source and then you have always seen like a little bit of the couch, the pictures on the wall, the plant in the background. So that was my video background for a uh, little bit over one and a half years, I think. Quite a long time. Yeah, then over there we have music stuff and TV stuff. We have some vinyl records over there. You also know these from the video I've made about this topic. As well, of course, speakers, JBL L60. I've got these from my father because I would have never been able to afford that stuff if I would buy it new. Vinyl player, amplifier, the TV, of course. Also not the best one. I'm I kind of want to buy an OLED TV at some point, but money, you know. Yeah, so that's this side. Also, once again, the Yeelight bulbs. I really like those for seven bucks each, as I said. Quite fun also as a practical light for filmmaking. Really, really nice. The table is actually real wood. I bought this one used, I think two years ago when I moved into this apartment. And yeah, really nice for sitting. Was heißt Vitrine auf Englisch? <laughs> ich glaube nicht. Okay, over there we have the showcase with a, with a lot of nice stuff inside actually. So, up there we have a couple of bottles Tatra tea. Really nice tea liquor. I don't drink it too often to be fully honest because it's quite heavy. In particular 
the right ones here with 72 percent uh, drinking this one as a shot i don't recommend it but i really like how the bottles look then we have a couple of empty stuff and some glasses these are my wine glasses from Zalto, an Austrian brand. I got these for Christmas from my dad. Really, really, really nice glasses. Like, just hear the sound. That's a proper glass and this one is a cheap glass. Quite a difference, I would say. And down there we have my small perfume collection. Some really nice ones. Woodwood from Tom Ford, for example. The Oud Satin Mood from Maison Francis Kurkjan. I hope I pronounced this one correctly. Also Spice Bomb Extreme, really, really nice scent for the winter in my opinion. Also some cheapies back there, like the Jaguar Classic Black for example. I think this one is like 10 bucks, but it's quite nice. I don't wear it too often, but what I like to do with this one is just using it as a room spray. <laughs> That's quite decent for that. <laughs> So, thank you very much. That was my living room and now we will go on. I think we will go on now with a couple of other rooms. I'm not quite sure in which order I, I put the script together, but I think there are some more rooms left and some more outtakes left for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video so far. If you do, give it a thumbs up and yeah, let's go on. So these have been the most interesting rooms. I guess. <laughs> we just have the bedroom, kitchen and bathroom left. The bedroom just consists of a bed, nothing special, a Google Nest Hub that tracks my sleep and a bedside lamp. The kitchen is very important, primarily because of my coffee machine. It's the Sage Barista Express, without a question not the best in the world, but it's rather budget friendly and makes pretty decent coffee. Currently I drink the 120Hz Espresso from I Know Review, a German tech YouTuber and it's really nice. I also have this foam maker from Gastrobag and a smart kettle from Xiaomi. Pretty nice for black tea because you can set the temperature where the water should stop boiling. I don't like tea though. And in the bathroom I have a small shower, luckily with glass doors, a sink and the toilet. That's basically it. Okay. The game goes for the fit, to be honest. For a ready to wear garment, it is absolutely out. I also have a small compartment in the cellar, which I mostly use for cardboard boxes and some tech I do not use anymore. I don't have a private parking space, but mostly there is a free one on the small lot in front of the house. My car is an Opel Corsa F from 2020. The leasing will be discontinued in a year, so I already have to look for a new car. Any tips are more than welcome in the comments, but keep it real, I don't have the means to get myself a Lambo. Yeah, once again, thank you very much for being a part of this journey. We'll see each other in two weeks with a new video. If everything turns out the right way, it will be the start of a new series I have been planning for more than a year now. Have a nice weekend.